And he goes jumping in. Amazing round. Great hatching from Taz. He flashes in a castle. But then a 20 health left. Oh, no single flash. Oh, the oh, shield so clutch. Oh, a blink into all those units. The amazing defense champion of the Intel Extreme Masters. So we're about to kick off the final here at the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge in New York with Counter-Strike 1.6. Joining me is Khan, as I advertised a little bit earlier on on Twitter. Khan, how are you doing this morning? I'm really good. Had a fairly late night, but, you know, <laughs> I'm excited to watch CS. Uh, we're not here, unfortunately, but still, it's going to be fun to watch this game. These two good teams going to play. And, yeah, interesting maps as well, most importantly. Yeah, let's talk a little bit about that because we do have SK, of course, versus WinFact. What's your opinion on the uh, maps that we've got? We're going to be seeing uh, Mirage, first of all, a map that WinFact seem very, very strong on. It's going to be down to the AWPers, uh, Aslak from uh, WinFact and Delpan in SK, of course. Uh, I played WinFact in, on Mirage yeah, at um, E-Stars 2011. Really strong. Um, and Aslak just shut down the, the A-bomb site. Uh, haven't seen SK do that much on this map though, but I'm pretty sure that they are confident playing it, otherwise they just remove it. Uh, yeah. but I'm a bit surprised, I think the map they have uh, ended up at is kind of favoring WinFact. It could be worse for them playing Nuke, uh, I'd say. What do you think to b about the other ones? Obviously, uh, Dust2 will be map number two. Uh, as Trevor mentioned, their train will be the third map. I mean, what's your opinion on how this game is going to go? We're going to be seeing a three map game, in your opinion? Could very, very well be so, but I guess SK is considered the favorite in this game for sure. They have been strong recently after the, after Dreamac, basically. So three, four months they have been pretty much the best team around. Uh, but we in fact have stepped up recently. I'm not sure if it's down to the player switches or if it was down to Lerpe's return to Finland that it finally get a, a group of five that can perform at this high high level they are at. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see three maps. We saw SK was a bit shaky yesterday playing at W, even that they had a stand-in uh, in um, Turkish, um, and they lost one map. That was a bit surprising. So we see if Winfect gets a good start, they can definitely win. But that's what it's all about, basically. Winfect needs a good start because SK is the favorite. Well, we are just waiting for uh, the players to get here on the server. And don't forget, guys, uh, this little hoodie right here, which uh, actually has got dust on it now somehow because it was on the floor <laughs> for a little while. Uh, but this is the MVP hoodie uh, of the Intel Extreme Masters. You can vote for your MVP over at IntelExtremeMasters.com. Um, actually, Nixon is in the MVP vote uh, somehow, and I've heard that he's actually doing pretty well, actually, in terms of numbers. That will be open until the end of this grand final. Of course, the winner of the MVP will not only get this bright yellow hoodie to uh, stand out and look cool on the streets of New York for a little while. Uh, but we'll also uh, get a nice goodie bag here from Razer, an Intel Core i7 Processor Extreme Edition, uh, plus the BenQ monitors that they're uh, playing on here in the tournament. Loads and loads of prizes. Okay, thank you very much, Midway. Uh, so apparently SK are having uh, a couple of little issues here with their machine, so we're going to have uh, a little bit of a delay to get this one underway. And uh, hopefully it won't take them too long. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really fancying uh, WinFact. I mean, we saw him yesterday. Aslike was super amazing, actually, um, yeah. when we saw him here on uh, Mirage, one of those real aggressive AWP players who seems to miss the hard shots and, uh, sorry, miss the easy shots more than the hard shots, actually. Yeah. Uh, we saw some really amazing stuff from him um, when he was playing in the earlier stages of this tournament. I mean, how realistic is the chance for WinFact, do you think, in this grand final? Because like you said, SK are that big favorite team. They've won a lot since they uh, formed with this superstar lineup. What, what's the chance for uh, WinFact in this game? Well, it's hard to give you a percentage, really. Uh, I think, as I said earlier, that WinFact really needs a good start. Um, throughout the time, I think the Finns have been really good when they get a good start, but they are somehow one of the worst nations to do comebacks somehow. They're just throwing games away. And yeah. They just forget about the focus for after a while, the, after losing a, bit a few rounds. Uh, we're at SK, so like a machinery of stability. Uh, they're four, the best player in the world. Um, since many, many years. They have dealt an amazing sniper. That's your, that's your opinion right now? Forrest is still the best player in the world? Oh yeah, for sure. Along with uh, Neo, I'd say. Uh, Forrest benefits from better teammates. Um, 
um, than Neo does. Neo, yeah. Neo can basically win tournaments for his team. Obviously, his teammates are amazing too. I'm not saying that, but Forrest, yeah, he get a, a lot of space uh, in SK. He gets the he get the rifle dropped. He get the pistols. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from him because he really deserves that, and that's the way to util utilize Forrest. So it's gonna be interesting watching him in here in the final. Well, it seems uh, the SK guys still have a couple of issues. You've got four, uh, or at least three of them in there. I'm not sure uh, who were the last guys, whether that's uh, an SK player or a WinFact player who's uh, just on the wrong team. But the uh, production team here telling us that they should be ready in uh, just a few seconds uh, starting this one off. Uh, Con, obviously, uh, we managed to win. I say we since I was team captain and I'm from <laughs> yeah. Europe. The, uh, the, the CSGO show match. I'm not sure if I'm even ever going to get that processor, by the way. Uh, but still, if it ever happens, I'll be happy about that one. Um, yeah, we talked a little bit about that one uh, last night. What's your opinion on it today? I mean, a few of those guys won't have seen the, uh, the show match yesterday. Maybe we can you know, just touch on that a little bit. What were your opinions on CSGO yesterday? Oh, well, I think it's fair, fair enough to say that we all had a good time. It was a new game, so uh, the skill was a bit not that good, so to speak. Yeah, I think Getra did a great job with the farmers. Um, eventually, we, we found out which weapon that were good. Uh, the Americans found out earlier, but as soon as we saw how amazing K-Sharp was with the super sniper or the, the automatic sniper, um, yeah, we just started to use that weapon as well. Um, I mean... It's many elements from CS. It's the same concept, obviously. Five on five. It's a team-based. Same, same kind of maps. You know where the bomb sites are, and with help from the pro community, backup from the community, I think we can uh, make this game a good thing for us. But I mean, as I said yesterday, we have to give it a chance at least. We're not sure right now. Everybody loves CS 1.6 still, and yep. uh, I'm obviously one of the biggest fans around as well of the game. Yet I need to realize that we need to reali realize that. Um, this is a great chance. This is a really great chance to pick up a new, pl I mean, a new kind of community. They're gonna, they're gonna, it, that potentially could u unify CSS and uh, CS 1.6. So uh, apparently, Face at the moment is Face. having uh, a couple of issues, and Face has been really, really great throughout this whole tournament. I actually, I'm gonna bring up the MVP vote because. I didn't really see 100% who was in it. I just saw Nixon's name and I laughed. Yeah, and I think Nixon I, uh, is doing fairly and well I, in that. And I changed the... Uh, <laughs> All right, let's have a look. So, uh, yeah, if you go over to intelextrememasters.com, click on Watch New York up at the top, um, and then click MVP. I'm actually still loading there, uh, which is, you know... American internet. Annoying. Yeah, it's not so uh, super speedy at this point. I'm going to get rid of this... Uh, You're going to go right. yellow. Let's have a look what size it is, by the way. It's a large... Just for your information. Not that it really matters at all. Uh, here we go then. MVP. Once it finally loads, I can, uh, we can bring that through. Uh, but that's also not just for uh, Counter-Strike 1.6, of course, for StarCraft 2 and for League of Legends. So make sure you uh, cast your votes in. You have to log in with your ESL account and uh, you know, to get your votes uh, going through with that one. And, well, it is still loading. I've also got the uh, comments up on hltv.org, so... Maybe I'll uh, have a look through that one. So, vote for CS 1.6 MVP. It's another page to load. <laughs> it's another five minutes to uh, wait for that one. Uh, by the way, guys, since we've got a little bit of downtime, you can uh, ask us your questions, if you like, over on Twitter, which is uh, twitter.com forward slash Joe underscore Miller and twitter.com forward slash Sutterman. Or Facebook work as well, facebook.com slash Corner CS. You can ask yeah. your questions there. If you have any, of course... There. So, here we go. Uh, so, I do have the MVP vote up. You cannot see the percentage yet, though. We can't see the percentage. It's all hidden um, up until the end. I uh, actually logged out my ESL account, so I can see it uh, with my super admin position, uh, permissions. And I know who's uh, really in the lead right now. And it's not so much of a surprise, I guess. But in that is uh, Nasu, Get Right, Nixon, yeah. Forest, Trace, and Basic. So, uh, you know, there's, what, one, two, three, four guys uh, in this final game are still there. You can see there the comments. Everyone's like, I guess it kind of... Seems to be a battle between Nixon and Get Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure Nixon is going to somehow uh, end up picking this one up anyway. 
got lots of fans after his. Uh, in fact, I think he won the MVP. Uh, sorry, the Man of the Match award um, in every single game that he played uh, in that group stage. Um, here we go. We have one question for you, actually. Um, when will the next theory of Counter-Strike come out? Wow, uh, it's a matter of time. When I got time, I will do it. Um, but actually, we've been in a busy season since end of May. Um, so not a lot of time. I'm going to ESWC next week, so the week after that, maybe. Just let me know which kind of things you want me to cover, because I'm running out of ideas. <laughs> Always helps. And uh, don't forget, follow uh, Khan on uh, Twitter and Facebook to get your questions in there. I guess the... Uh, Easiest way to get that stuff oh, yeah. over. Uh, let's have a look at the uh, hltv.org comments. Uh, as, as we said before, there are a couple of issues here. Uh, the fifth man for SK isn't going to be our IT guy. Uh, it's actually <laughs> going to be Face. And uh, you may be wondering why Face's beard has suddenly fallen off and looks a little bit more German uh, than Swedish than he did before. Seems like Face always having problems with his computers. <laughs> You should get a computer license. We have those <laughs> courses in Sweden, you're good. But you're going to be joined by a 55-plus-year-old. <laughs> I don't even really know how to surf the internet. Yeah, the like, intrawebs. Oh, wow, Google, that's an amazing thing. Yeah, we wait for, uh, for our guys to uh, just fix up the stuff there from Face. Uh, what do you think to Face's performance in this tournament, by the way? He seemed very, very you know, solidly strong as... He always seems to perform so uh, so solid throughout. Yeah, the I think you said it there. Face is a solid player. He's he's obviously a a rifler that can cope with um, defending a bomb site on his own. We ha he has um, I think Inferno B. He has Train yeah. B. And when he has a good day, they can kind of um, have a rotation where they put four guys in the other bomb site and he take care of the rest <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, he, I think he, he, he he's a bit like Winfrey. He needs a great start in the in the game. Uh, yeah. If he gets that, he will probably add up 15, 20 frags. So he can be a bit pain in the ass, so to speak, um, when you want to attack those bomb sites. Because, yeah, it's tricky knowing he's holding those bomb sites and you know where his positioning is. You know where he's going to be, but somehow he just doesn't help. You throw a flashbang, kill three guys, and you're really upset that you call the shot attacking his bomb site. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah. He is sat down now, so uh, that's a good thing. Hopefully, we can uh, get this one underway in just a few moments everyone uh, in the comments is actually super impressed with the uh, with get rights performance yesterday uh, in counter strike go and like everyone's like yeah you adopted this one so well you know you never play source blah 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 but actually i do know that get right does play a lot of uh, CS Pro mod i actually did some random show uh, where he came along and just destroyed everyone for like three hours uh, live. In fact, he even got bored and he just quit after a while. And he's like, yeah, we should do some mixes next time because it's too easy for me uh, destroying all these guys. Is there a lot of players playing CS Pro Mod? Um, I think at the, when the release comes out each time, I think there's quite a lot of guys Kind of jumps there. up and then the next yeah, week it goes Yeah, and then down. the next week everyone's like, okay, we're playing 1.6 all source again. Uh, but hopefully, you know, that's, they continue to uh, develop that and... But it's taken a that great leads. while, I'd say. Yeah, and that's one of the things that's really going to uh, you know, be bad for them because the CSGO developers, they're quick right now. I mean, we've seen it here in this tournament alone. They, they have a bit of more backup as yeah. well. The yeah, of course, they've there. got the money behind them. They've got this big dev team. And they've really almost, I guess, every single day brought us a, uh, a new build, basically. Oh, yeah. the, the feedback that they've got from the 1.6 Pros. And they've come back every single day. Yeah, it's uh, funny, like, new. the first day, I think, the, the players that tested out the game, they were complaining a bit about the models. It was kind of hard to distinguish whether it was a terrorist or a CT. And like, okay, they we're going to pick that. The and the next day comes new models. Uh, <laughs> those kind of things, like for me, that makes me a bit confident that we can make a good thing out of CSGO. Uh, yeah. Obviously, it's not, it's not a perfect game day one. CS was never a perfect game day one as well. Um, now they had the backup from Wall. They're going to have many, many de developers working on the game. And throughout time, yeah, as I said earlier, it might be a good thing. So we better help out when we have the chance. It's our responsibility, I'd say. And uh, apparently a couple of people are having uh, troubles with the stream. So uh, hopefully our guys backstage American can uh, take a look at that one. Yeah, the uh, internet here, a little bit slow for us. Um, 
question there. Joe and Khan, are you happy with your new processors? Well, obviously, I don't even have mine yet. You know what I did? Uh -huh. I went home and built a computer yesterday night. I had two hours there and just built it. That's why. So I didn't test it yet, lying. of course. Yeah, I'm lying. No, are we I getting a thumbs up from Midway? So that must mean something. That we're uh, good to go here. Actually, we have all 10 plays in the server. That awesome. is absolutely awesome. Uh, what did you think, by the way, yesterday to our... Uh, our new knife round in CSGO, the... Uh, oh, the taser round. The taser round. Oh, well, what to say? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the knife round, actually, you know, it is important on some maps. Let's not get that wrong. Um, it's kind of boring, actually, to, uh, to commentate. I really hate yeah. uh, to commentate the knife rounds. Usually, it's I not much even to say. It's usually end up the whatever. same way. Yeah. And like five terrorists chasing the city, trying to back off. <laughs> I mean, do you think... It, would you rather have a knife round than a coin toss? Uh, coin toss is always very random. There is a skill element in um, knife round or taser round probably, but we need to practice that a bit more, obviously, because the Americans kind of raped us in that. Tasers are more common here, I guess. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> Don't tase me, bro. Anyway, we're going to get the knife round here uh, coming in very, very shortly to decide who will be starting off on uh, which side here on Mirage. And talk us through Mira uh, Mirage from you know, a team captain's point of view. What are you looking for uh, if you win that knife round? Where are you going to be starting? Actually, it's really hard to tell because it's basically down to your team. Some teams like to tack. SK is probably one of those teams. They're really good with A split. They're displaying A perfectly, basically. Uh, whereas I think the Finns, they probably want to start CT. Uh, personally, the balance is not really worked out yet, I'd say. We don't really know yeah. the perfect way to play Mirage because we, we, we haven't really had the time necessary to find out weaknesses in the defense or how to do early pushes and stuff. So yeah, I'd say it's, I hate to say a random map, but it's very hard to predict. You can be really good ST, you can be really, really good, you can shut down the bomb sites at CT as well. But not uh, as random as Forge right now, right? I love Forge. Yeah? Yeah, I love Forge. Really? It's, yeah, it's a really fun map, definitely. It's much better than Cobble, the old game, uh, the old map, sorry. Um, and that's another map. You can be good, good at CT, uh, you can be good at T. But right now, it's, it's probably too rush friendly, uh, <laughs> which is good when you're streaming, you don't have a lot of time in yeah, tournaments. Yeah, it's, it's a quick map, yeah, actually. When you're behind schedule, it's like, oh, third map forge, that's kind of yeah. getting us back on schedule. Seems the knife round is kicking off here. Yeah, we've had the restart. So uh, we are going to get the knife underway between WinFact and SK. Let's give you a quick rundown of the teams just in case you don't know them. For SK is Face, Robin, Get Right, Delpin, and Forrest. For WinFact is Aslak, Jigatus, Nasu, Basic, and Lupis. So here we go then. Knife going to get underway. And I think both teams are actually headed to different bomb sites in the knife. So, uh, you know, yeah, there, it's, it's such a new, it's a new map, so they don't really know where to do, do knives. Where is the knife spot? The taste round, by the way, against the Americans happened on uh, in CT base yesterday. Yeah, that was CSGO. completely camped it out in CT base. That was ridiculous. And again, the uh, standoff coming in. First kills actually uh, being exchanged there between Get Right and Nasu. Robin getting uh, one there is, uh, well, SK actually just mopping that I'm thing interesting up. to see which team to pick now. Yeah, I don't want to start CT. Yep, that counter terrorist team, the defending side, going to be the choice for SK, and I guess they're uh, actually going to be on their feet right now. They're uh, you know one of those teams who uh, yeah, and like to get up not. in the huddle. Yeah, in fact, uh, actually I was speaking to a couple of the guys last night. We went out for uh, dinner, all the Counter Strike community, uh, which was nice. It was a really good time. And uh, you know the in fact guys were like, yeah, we're we're pretty confident of winning this one, although. SK are really, really good, and we're a little bit worried about how that's all going to go. But you know, hopefully they get off to that good start, like you say. If WinFight get off to a good start, maybe they'll be able to uh, show us something really great in this map. I guess the fear for them is getting off to a bad start and really being uh, pushed quite heavily by this SK lineup, who, uh, as you can see there on your screen, are having a bit of a huddle. I guess the third place game is uh, also about to get underway or maybe even started uh, between MTW and uh, no, UNX. No, I saw our car in the, uh, there on the screen. He was walking somewhere, so it's probably not live yet. But I think MTW is going to go home with that. Yeah, that I medal. think so as well. I get that feeling at least, especially after going out with some of the UMX guys yesterday night. It was a late <laughs> night, so... <laughs> 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 the surprise are even here yeah. to, <laughs> to play a third-place game. We have the uh, manager of SK in there as well, Rice. 
you were actually managing... The Korean pistol rounds, yeah. advising them on them. Managing uh, quite a lot of players here. He's got the League of Legends team, the Counter-Strike team, also uh, acting as a translator for us here at ESL for uh, those Korean StarCraft 2 players. He is multi-talented. <laughs> for sure. And uh, SK sat down now. We, in fact, actually uh, not moving around at all. So despite not... Ha oh, okay. So they decide, we'll wait for SK to uh, sit down and then we'll stand up. That's such an MTW thing to do. Try to psych your opponent by standing up when they're starting to uh, yeah, prepare. When they're typing ready, they stand up and starting to talk about <laughs> uh, what they're going to do. I'm not sure why. I guess you as a streamer don't really like those things because <laughs> you're on time pressure. I still do it. Yeah, I mean, if we end up going three maps plus overtimes, the, uh, the old schedule is somewhat uh, a little bit broken. But... We want to see uh, the best game possible here. And hopefully no more rain because, you know, Winfact did sit in these seats the whole time on the, uh, on the second day. Yeah, that was the so bizarre. Stage. There was uh, rain coming in here at Comic-Con uh, through the ceiling, which is, you know, always a great thing over those... Uh, and I heard it happened last year as well, like, yeah. they haven't learned. I actually had... Uh, I'm not sure who it was exactly, but someone had an umbrella um, a bro oh, yeah. <laughs> above the Two wind of the guys, <laughs> just trying to keep them dry while they were playing uh, their game, which is you know, just a ridiculous thing to see, actually, uh, in the end of it all. But we have both teams sat down, and both teams saying that they are ready, so uh, hopefully the admin will get these restarts in quickly, and we can get this one underway. We are going to get the restart. So it is the grand final here of the Intellect Stream Masters Global Challenge in New York. Win fact versus SK. Can't give us a prediction for map number one. Um, the team winning the, this pistol round we are about to see here uh, might very well win this. Uh, Mirage is a map you really need because you, p teams haven't come up with ideas how to play it in a solid way yet. So the pistol round is so crucial. Actually, uh, a lot of pistol rounds we've seen here on Mirage have uh, gone with this terrorist side pushing over towards this B side pushing like through, what I'm seeing. Seems the, very uh, through the balcony area. Actually, Face will get frag number one. He is still alive with 40 HP as someone dives out there right on top of him. That was Aslak. The win facts are all over this B bomb site. Bomb is going to be planted. And we are down to a four versus four. Let's uh, switch around to SK. See how this rotation is going to go. Forest already pushed up towards the door. They are going to move now in onto this bomb site. Bomb is, like I said, ticking away. So uh, SK got that little bit of a time limit onto them. Gigatus was in on the bomb site itself as Get Right will take down Aslak. Gigatus went down as well. And that will be all five dead for Win Fact. SK going to get the defusing. And that retake looked a little bit too easy. Too easy indeed, because they didn't take any aggressive positions, uh, Win Fact. They were just like trying to hide behind boxes. You have two options when you have a bomb site and the bomb is planted. Either to go aggressive or everybody, I mean, everybody should do kind of the same decision. Everybody should camp uh, or everybody should just go aggressive to caught the, uh, the, back, the backup SK players off guard. Uh, and it was pretty much down to Lurpis there. If he would get his kill uh, when two of the SK players, Alpha and Getra, got from behind. If he got one of them, um, that would be so crucial. Wind Factor actually uh, headed once again. They've gone for a couple Eagle of AKs. AKs. Yeah, that Deagle AK second round. Let's see how that one works out for them. Let's try and uh, find someone over by that B site. Again, as Carl mentioned, it is Face who's been uh, stuck alone in this bomb site. He goes wow. down to the nice Deagle, Deagle headshot of Aslak. And now this bomb is going to get planted. There's Forrest with a quick frag back. Let's see if SK can once again successfully retake this site. Basic will take down Forrest. That's bad news for the I Swedes. Mean. Wow, that was a late rotation of Getra killing Lurpis, because Lurpis was also very late trying to backstab them. Winfax is in a better position right now. Oh, it's not looking good for SK. In fact, only Delpan is left alive. Save it. He's going to save that weapon. I mean, it's always surely the kind of the worst thing that can ever happen to you as, uh, as a CT side in particular to lose this second round after winning At least pistol. mentally, like, you, you're feeling really pumped winning the pistol round. You know that we probably had three, three to save now, and then you lose. Um, being forced to an eco in the grand final, that's the nightmare for the in-game leaders or the team, of course, as well. I wonder now if Dalpan picked this Colt up or if he saved the previous round. He probably bought this himself, so he cannot really drop any, anything but a deagle to his teammate. And they're actually buying now. Heskey's going to buy back and probably stack on one of the bomb sites. Robin pen himself up onto uh, the Barkini over by that A site. 
Base will once again have the uh, job of defending over by B. In fact, Delpan is actually going to show some aggression with this M4, which, you know, it's all well and good if he manages to get in there and get himself a couple of frags. But if he yeah. goes down and that M4 is out in the middle of the open, then you know, yeah. it's kind of redundant then for SK. They're not going to be able to uh, get in there. Win fact, obviously, will try to uh, shut that down and keep it out of the round. But looking at Delpan now, he's actually getting a lot of information. Um, Obviously, it's hard to tell whether they're going to go to side holes B or side holes A. But you can for sure say they're not going connection on the underpass. So, um, yeah, surprised that SK didn't rotate better here. SK have lost one man in and amongst everything already. The flash is coming onto this site. Nasu is going to drop Robin, who was uh, yeah, flashed was up down flashed. under the uh, Yeah, completely blind, I guess, underneath that balcony. The flash exploding right in his face. Get right. Looking like he's going to back away. So I think SK not going to go for this one. Obviously, nah, they, they do still have that M4. They will go for Eco next round, but they will keep the deals. And obviously, they're Colt. Um, can get some, some kills next round. They will probably not win it, but they can keep the, the econ economy up. And um, making sure that if we're in fact starting to lose rounds, they will not have as much money they would have um, if they just win two, two straight Ecos, anti-Ecos. Anyway, great start from Winfact. Yeah, they despite really losing this. that pistol, really uh, turning things on the head. And you know, even if it's not the end of the world for SK, it's still a great, great start from Winfact mentally. Uh, maybe more than anything, like Carl mentioned before the game, S uh, sorry, Winfact need to be that team that get off to uh, a good start. Looks like there's a couple of issues here, maybe. Yeah. As we uh, do He's have not a faced pause. This time. Looks like uh, it's Get Right who's having a couple of problems. Have you seen uh, Winfax's new team shirts, by the way? No. I love New York. Oh. <laughs> All of them bought it. Oh, really? <laughs> I guess they have a good night yesterday night. <laughs> Loving New York. Obviously, uh, getting to the final. Great thing for uh, Winfax. They, they, I think they've actually, in the, in the last month and in the coming weeks, they're like the only team that's gone to like every single event. Yeah, somehow they either got invited or qualified for all the events, so they probably had their busiest fall ever, going to China, going to, uh, I mean, being here, and also in one week's time, they're going to ESWC. Um, and this probably boosted them a bit. They, they can kind of ju justify the practice they need to do, and they're just being so committed and focused on this. Yeah. So I guess they're having a good time, and they feel a bit confident. And obviously now with 3 to one in a bit, I guess. Currently 2-1 to one to SK, but uh, to win fact, but SK actually have one guy disconnected now. I'm not sure if they're going to give him star money. Let's get, get right out of the eagle before, right? Yeah. Let's save. Actually, uh, get right. Okay, so uh, get right, actually, uh, moving over there to have a bit of a discussion nah, with win I'm fact. pretty sure he went there to ask if he can get prize money. Uh, it's not prize money, sorry. You're gonna get the prize <laughs> money. Have your prize money, please. You're gonna get the start money. <laughs> you probably put him at 3k. I wouldn't be surprised. So you can buy his deagle. But he better buy this deagle, because if he saves the 3k, it's kind of a cheesy thing to do, because he, he will have more money for the, the weapon round. Uh, weapon round, yeah. Hopefully, uh, Catwright will get himself back in onto uh, the server in a little bit. And now I think we've got a few. Uh, <laughs> Someone asked if I've been Hora. working out. Show People will never forget that, yo. Hora. I know. Um, actually, in the League of Legends tournament, we had Cypher, and I was. You know, I said, okay, I think they're maybe going to win this one. And there were loads of comments like, "Are oh, you betting on a French team again?" Last time. It's fair to say that you are really, not yeah, a good uh, esports better. <laughs> yeah, I, I stopped betting uh, <laughs> last year in Kiev for the uh, European Championships of the Intel Extreme Masters. Okay, so uh, get right. He's going to get the money that he requested. But he's still not in the server. I can't, well, I can't as you can see on your screen there, I can't quite see his monitor. So I uh, see a little bit of face monitor. I don't know if uh, get right is you know in Windows or what's really going on. Well, the admin is there with him. 
Robin. Yeah, he gets connected now. Yeah, Robin just discussing with the admin what uh, his teammate should be getting. The scoreline, of course, is 2-1. to one. Still very early, uh, early days in this game. This is going to be the uh, win fact choice of maps. Dust to the uh, map choice for SK in the third and final map. Should we need it, should we need to go to that tiebreaker map, will be Train. There's Nixon, possible MVP of the Intellect <laughs> Stream Masters. Yeah, vote for him, guys. After uh, playing three games in the group stage for MTW. You know what? I checked the Ace of TV stats earlier. And then He's Nixon, the top Nick pistol player of this top uh, pistol tournament. Player. That's ridiculous. A bit ridiculous, actually. But, you know, Nixon, what a boss. I mean, they've flown Turkish into this event, MTW. I mean, that's a massive investment for a team at this stage. Uh, yes. You know, they managed to get through into the playoffs. I don't even want to think how much it must have cost uh, for that flight for Turkish just to uh, come in right on the last minute from Denmark here into New York. But either way, we are back and uh, live in this one, the grand final. Of course, MTW are playing in the third place playoff and we are going to see a push from Delpan that's a very aggressive position hoping that someone drops down into uh, this underpass area yeah it's, it's kind of a stupid thing to do because as you said earlier Joe if he, ki if he get killed um, no one in his team is able to pick the weapon up yeah but he gets tons of information now especially now walking up in the middle um, but yeah also like Mirage is very hard to predict where they're gonna go even if you secure the middle you're not really sure what's happening. It's really tough to make the call. Delpan actually uh, was taken out there. Face does bring one back though. So uh, it's a four versus four. That weapon from Delpan surely will uh, not offer so much up. But here is Forrest moving in around the back towards that T spot. And he will take down Lurpis. Nice push. We have yeah, but Winfight has this for sure. Yeah, they're all over this A bomb site now. Bomb should get planted any second. There is Face taking down Gigatus. Let's see if SK can uh, really offer any more up in this one. Can be down to the next kill. Right Remember, we in fact uh, have the armor, they have the AKs. Yeah. And so they have the time on the side as well. The bomb is planted. Starting to move in there. I wonder if they uh, have any kit. Yeah, they have got one thing. That's who's actually underneath the uh, balcony area, and he's going to spray there. Under a little bit of pressure, to be honest. We'll take out really Get nice Right as he moves from away. There. Goes up the ladder, and there is just the one man on the uh, plant himself, and that was Face, who uh, just kind of held on to it there, hoping that maybe Nasu misses his shot or whatever, a kind of last-ditch attempt, and that will be demonstrating really one. nice movement there and really nice in-game skills, and being able to just bring those things up in the heat of the moment in the grand finals, really impressive, because he knew that Eski knew his position. If he stayed there, he's going to die, um, and he just utilizes great movement, jumping up the ladder and hiding in the halls and uh, forcing phase to start defuse, but as I said again, the time was on Winfax um, side here. They're actually uh, pushing up this round a few guys towards that B-bomb site. Nice grenade comes in. Let's uh, switch back. Jigitas, uh, Jigitas lost 10 HP. The rest, not so much. We're going to watch phase because he's the man that's got to uh, defend his bomb site. Will take down Nasu. Surely they're going to come jumping out here on top of him. There's another kill onto Jigatus. Great stuff from Face. Finally goes down to Lurpis, but he's done his job in holding out on this B side. There's the AWP from Aslak finally in play. And we saw yesterday um, on Mirage how strong Aslak actually was with that up. Oh, yeah. He's definitely one of the top five snipers in the world, along with Delphine, Freeze, Markloff. Probably Neo as well. <laughs> he's amazing with everything. <laughs> Right, we'll uh, take him down there in that middle area. Forrest is dropped, though, by Basic, who gets himself two kills. Finally dealt with by Get Right. It's one versus one. Lurpis versus Get Right. And uh, Get Right actually moving in here. He has no Thought idea where Lurpis, Lurpis was uh, around that area. He's actually right in on the bomb site. Lurpis is going to spray him down. And that is a 4 1 scoreline for Winfact. So, doing a great, great job here on this terrorist side. Yeah, I mean, Face did his job killing, killing off two. Uh attacking Winfact players. Um, but yeah, I think it was down to Aslak's AWP kill there, um, which kind of made the remaining SK players a bit afraid, knowing that they're going to need to retake the bomb site and they're going to need to kill Aslak, who is crazy with his a AWP now and has been throughout the tournament. I think they, pla they planted the bomb pretty nicely as well. Uh, so it was really nice 
um, positioning from Aslak. Lope is playing it very smart as well. Dug straight in, uh, you know, on the site itself. Escape one expecting to uh, be playing so passively. There we go. Delpan goes down very early on in the round. We've seen a lot of aggression from Delpan. Obviously yeah. in the uh, green hallways, not so pushed up, but you know, if you're going to peek there and a couple of guys, it's going to be very, very hard to stay alive. Robin will go down as well, and Winfact are now going to move themselves over onto this A bomb site. Of course, this is an eco round for SK, by the way. Explains why they're falling so quickly. Get right did get the one kill, but Winfact are going to move five to one in the lead here on Terry's side, and uh, you know that's all despite losing pistol. So you've got to give them credit here. Oh yeah. Let's have a, a quick look down the scorebook. I know a lot of you guys are on HLTV .org, uh, .org are running Dream Team. Basically, it's 13 for 3. Uh, you know, making a claim to that MVP award, if anyone can ever outdo the popularity of Nixon. Uh, 7 th for 3 for Gigatus, Aslak 6 for 4, Nasu 5 for 3, 4 for 4 for Lurpus. But we are getting in onto the action. Robin actually got himself too before Get Right made it number 3 for SK. Winfact now are moving up in onto this A bomb site. Let's see if they can pull anything off. There is Forrest, who was again right out in the open, but didn't seem to uh, make a difference. I guess uh, Winfact just weren't expecting Forrest to be pushed out there. And that will be a 5 2 scoreline finally uh, around back for SK. And that one looked almost too easy for them. Yeah, I don't like the decision going A because um, they have been very successful attacking B. FaZe has actually done his job, but. You cannot really kill more than, you cannot expect him to kill more than two people. Um, and they have been very good in the plant diffuse situations. So in my world, they should have just spammed this tactic. Uh, and it seems like they're about to do that now, the eighth round. Trying to attack B again. Working back over there as Delpan will pick off Aslak. And that's a uh, big frag for SK. Yeah, the momentum can definitely change right now. Um, SK getting a bit confident after winning round, one round, and now they get the first frag. And as you can see, Lerp is, is, is stuck, stuck with a uh, Galil, which, which is kind of ed evidence that they don't have a lot of money. So they yeah. might be forced to an equi if they lose this round. Oh, look at all that amazing four win fact. They are going to push out. It looks again. But they will be uh, making that B push. I'm going to switch around as quickly as I can to face. Here he is. And we'll lose out to Nasu, who jumped straight off that balcony. This is going to be a fast and easy bomb punt. There comes a grenade, though, from Delpan. Forrest is taking out one as well. And well, that was a uh, quick push. And I'm not sure that Winfat really uh, knew what hit them there. It was very quick to end the round. Oh, yeah. And they didn't, didn't get the bomb planted. So I wouldn't be surprised if they're, yeah, they're going to have a Glock Eco now. And kind of Im inviting SK to come back into the game. They, g they got a good start when they pissed around, then losing five straight rounds. And now SK is back. And um, Lerp is probably telling his guy to stay in the base right now, right now uh, not going off and die early. So they can discuss a bit what they're going to do next. Um, wouldn't be surprised if they're going to utilize the underpass more and doing a slow kind of split towards the A bomb site. As you can see down there in the bottom right of the screen. Yeah, <laughs> actually, a couple of them not even got their hand on the mouse at the moment, just discussing that plan, as Khan said, using this uh, eco round to as much of an advantage as they can. Yeah, having a small timeout without taking a timeout. But this can be really useful. Obviously, SK probably know uh, what's going on, but they are in super concentrated mode so uh, they're not going to push out from this one there's Robin actually by that middle window to take down Gigatus yeah SK probably expected them to have uh, have their weapons this round that's why they stay really focused and patient um, knowing uh, or thinking at least they're going to be up against AKs so I got they got a bit more confident now knowing they're going to have Glocks and they know that they are very well uh, way on getting uh, getting a comeback here yeah just watch Delp on there he got himself too obviously fairly easy kills they seem to uh, know where that one was going to come as soon as they heard those footsteps it was an all-out push in towards that a site from win fact didn't go their way and it's now back to five four so that one round the sk picked up their uh, second one of the game really giving them uh, some momentum going this, uh, into this one they seem to have uh, got a bit more confidence back into their game 
Got Delplant locking off that big entrance into the A site. The AWP. In fact, of course, where the AK is now, we'll be planning carefully where to go. It looks like they may just go for that B split. It looks to me like they're repeating the pistol around a bit as well. Trying to sneak up close to the B-bomb site and when the smoke disappears, they're probably just going to push. So once more it's going to be down if FaZe can get the early kills here. Still one minute of the round to go. Grenade comes rolling in. Did knock Nasu down to 73 HP. So uh, run about a quarter of his health gone just from that grenade coming down. This is going to be uh, an important one for FaZe. He has to do amazingly well to uh, hold this one off. And actually as he sees those flashes coming in, will flash to both sides. Gets frag number one onto Nasu looking for more. And he was spraying at the guys that had just jumped off that balcony area. Didn't quite work out for him. We in fact tried to get in there. Nice grenade from Delpa. I think that was the bomb carrier as well that uh, was dropped. Gigatus. Here is Delpa again, and he spots Lopez over by the far side. That will be 5 5, all tied up in the first half after 10 rounds. Yeah, and then didn't get the bomb planted and the extra $800. So I wouldn't be surprised. Another eco. And uh, yeah, SK is about to do a really nice comeback here after being down 5 to 1. Um, yeah, SK looking strong. And they're getting more and more confident in doing pushes early. You saw Get right here coming from behind super early. Killing off one guy. Looks like we could see a uh, double peek at the window, actually. I assume that's uh, Robin that was there with uh, Forrest. Yeah, yeah four was. guys towards B now. And somehow Lurvis told this guy to go A. The Michael SK of guard here. Let's have a look. Get right is down there on the wrap. Two kills coming in, but there's Delpit and Forrest to bring it back. Into the favor of SK. The rest of them uh, rotating around. There's Forrest once again. Delpan with that AWP will be dropped by Gigatus. What's up with Gigatus and his double kills? <laughs> it was the same in China, like getting those kind of double kills when the CTs think they have the round. And this that time he won the round, but now he's in a really bad position with 15 HP. He had the bomb though, so it's possible. And face. Looking like he's just going to play this one uh, very patiently. Oh, yeah. He always faces a very defensive player that relies a lot of aim and just sticking to one bomb site and hope he's going to get there. If Jigitus would have go, go for B now, he would most likely win the round because he would get the bomb plan and he would have enough time to hide in a, in a good position. Instead, Jigitus go A. And, yeah, it's going to be oh, up if Face have enough switching. patience to stay. The tricky thing for FaZe now, he will not know where the bomb gets planted in case Gigatus is a bit delayed now, yeah. Coming in from this side area, bomb is going to be planted and FaZe is going to take this one nicer. Uh, and you know, as you mentioned, super patient play. He's going to look around for this AWP first of all before he gets the defusing. To, uh, to save Delpan buying it up that next round. Defuse will come around and SK are going to pick up round number six. So. I guess that's five in a row for them now. It is. A fantastic, fantastic job. Super concentrated are the SK team. Yeah, and by winning so many rounds, and some of the rounds they won was so, I mean, they win, won it in a big manner. So they're going to have money, money enough to, to buy the remaining four rounds. And we, in fact, they cannot really go into the CT side knowing that they lost nine rounds in a row. They need a couple of rounds now to get back into momentum and starting to play confident again as to when they're going to be CT. I'm sadly going for the A push, which has not really fared all that well for them so far in this game. Get right underneath the uh, balcony is going to flash there over the box. Robin gets himself the two opening kills. Delpan in there as well. Robin gets frag number three. And all of a sudden, Gigatis is all left alone. A man who's been pulling off double kills all over the place. He needs to do a little bit more than that this round. It won't come out for him. And Robin is going to make it six rounds in a row for SK. Really turning this one on its head. Yeah. That momentum working against Winfact. And I think that's a dangerous situation for them to be in now, Khan. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't like the way they executed that round. They kind of allow SK to get in convenient position. They allow SK to throw this smoke grenade, which makes the, their attack so hard to, um, to execute. 
what I would like to see from Winfect is just commit to the rushes, just run out with the AKs and hope for an early headshot and take over the bomb site, get the bomb planted, and yeah, perform a great after plant. But instead, you're just waiting, as I said. And you see here, they're waiting when the smoke is down, and it's so easy for them to just wow. kill them. Yeah, Forrest having uh, a bit of a field day with that round, obviously, uh, just those deagles. Ace dude, was it too hard? Um, I think you're not wrong. Yes, it was. Actually, uh, the grenade got himself a double kill, uh, as you do, and then the uh, remaining three. So nice stuff from Forrest. Let's give you another quick rundown Oops, of the scoreboard. For SK, Delpan 13-4, Forrest 13-7, Face 11-7, Robin 11-7, Get Right 7 for 5, not being called into action all that much. We'll uh, run down the win fight scoreboard in just a second because it looks like they are going to start to push fairly quickly out onto this bomb site. We're going to go around to Face because he's the man defending again. Flashes again in different positions, always uh, alternating those flash positions. Forrest has actually come around now. B split on Mirage is probably the worst round in the world. Um, and why people do them is because they think like, you can't do a B split on Dust 2, you can't do a B split on Inferno, you can do a, yeah, you can do a B split or A split on every map, but somehow Mirage is not really built for that. Because you, you can get killed from A when running on the catwalk, you, you can get yeah. killed from the middle, you can get killed from catwalk, you know, you have so many targets, so it's, so ra it's such a random round. And the skyboxes in the middle doesn't really, um, allow the T to throw decent flashbangs, they just get stuck in the in the roof. So yeah, I think Lerp is just calling this round knowing um, Split is a, is a round that exists in all other maps and <laughs> B is a bomb site, so B Split, let's see how it works. <laughs> but I haven't rarely seen that round working except when you're playing against USBs on an uh, anti-eco. And Get Right is actually going to finish off the round to uh, make it eight in a row. This is dangerous stuff for uh, for win facts, I'm sure they're going to be sighing a bit of uh, uh, very, very relieving when we get to half time for them. Let's say that uh, because at the moment SK have so much momentum, they're looking so, so strong. They continue to rack up these rounds against the Finns on their uh, on their map choice as well. It has to be said. Oh yeah, but we have to bear in mind that. Win fact is actually a very strong CT team on this map. Um, they yeah. play, play Fnatic, my team, and he starts getting 12 rounds. And having those kind of memories, knowing that they can play good, um, then where the re repetition comes in. They know that they can play that good, and when they start winning the pistol round, um, they have it in their bodies, knowing that they can get at least 12 rounds. So. Oh, that's a great peek out there from uh, pretty much the entire SK team. Get right, we'll finish things off. And uh, the good halves are called 10-5. It will end. Nine rounds in a row. Yeah, nine in a row is a huge, huge amount to uh, to stack up there. Let's quickly look down the uh, scoreboard. Obviously, they did suicide here uh, to get the team switch. So uh, it'll be a little bit off, but gives you the general idea anyway. Delpan 15-5, Forrest 14-8, Robin 12-8. Get right, eight for six. Not really had that much to do in this first half. Face, 13-7. Um, we talked about Face. He had a few computer issues before we got started in this final, but uh, we touched on how solid he was. And again, defending that B-side alone for the most part, amazing, amazing solid play again. Yeah, I think he averaged like two frags every time he attacked him. So what can you, what can you more ask for than that? And um, I'd say Eski was a bit lucky in the retakes of B because they, they kept yeah. the high explosive and they threw them at the person perfect spot and I know that Mirage is not a map where you really know how to execute uh, retakes. You just throw the grenades and hope for um, hope for some luck basically and they had it this time. I think Delpan had two kills with the grenade uh, when he was retaking the bomb sites. Here's a question for you from Twitter. Which player are you cheering Which player? For? Not which team. Interesting. Yeah, which player? Who's your who, who is your favorite Counter-Strike player? Really hard to tell. I don't really have any. DSN, obviously. <laughs> well, I I I know which which are the best players around, but that, that doesn't necessarily make them my favorite players. But I mean, I like to watch it for. I've been playing with Forrest for a long time. I like to learn from him, and he's just he's just a, he's a prodigy. You know, he can he can win matches for himself. And just yeah. So he's so hard. He has so much harmony when he's playing. Just running around, getting headshots, and he's always so, so calm. So calm. Yeah. It's like. It just is life yeah. for uh, Forrest, that's just how it is. Uh, let's switch over to uh, the player cameras once again and just see what's uh, going on between the two teams there. You can see that SK are on their feet. 
as I say that, they sit down again. <laughs> and and they get ready to kick off the T pistol round. Now, in fact, are going to stand up <laughs> and have their discussion. Yeah, play those oh, yeah, they are. Yeah, there we go. So, With uh, the new team jerseys, the yeah, New Yorkers. I heart New York. In fact, I think a couple of them have it in their... Uh, well, I say a couple, it's just Lurpis who obviously loves New York. And you know, Lurpis spent a time, a, a lot of time actually, uh, living in the US when he back in the EG days. Uh, but I think he was in Dallas, Texas. Yeah. yeah. Then. Not, personally, not my favorite part of the world. New York is much Too better. Too warm, so. man. Too warm. But we are going to see Win Fact sit themselves down. It's super important pistol round now. Obviously, uh, losing this one, you're going to say, should be 13 rounds. Uh, yeah, but I mean, after seeing uh, the first piece around, you saw how the tides can change so quickly. And just buying those deagles and AKs, you can start to pick up rounds again. Which we, in fact, did until we got five rounds, and then SKS got back. Strong AWP kills in the, in the beginning, and nice defending in B. And also, Robin played amazing towards the side yeah. in A. So I mean, cons team considering those nine rounds in a row, that could have gone a lot worse for, yeah. uh, for Winfact, considering that they lost pistol as well and then brought it back in the second round. And uh, there was just a question there from uh, one of the guys asking if, you're, if their keyboard is turned off from Lurpis. Their keyboard turns off for a couple of seconds every few minutes. Not sure what that's all about. Hopefully uh, that will be fixed. But we are going to get the restarts in. So obviously uh, not so big of an issue for these two teams. We're going to see Forrest get, uh, buying the armor, getting the USB. It seems like they're going to go towards Catwalk middle. Right. Spreading themselves out, actually, as like they're peeking through it's the beast that middle about. window. Might work on Pistorano. Forest, looking for that one. Actually, we saw uh, in that semi-final yesterday some great pistol play from Forest, as per usual. Let's see if he can uh, bring that game out today. Here we go. Delpen goes down to Lerp. His first frag of the second half for win fact. But SK are playing this one super slow. And yeah, they're really spread out. They cannot really, um, when a kill happens, they cannot really counter kill, so to speak. They're so spread out. It's really down to aim now. Actually, yeah, Lopez is going to peek from this middle window as well. Face will fall down. There's Aslak onto Robin inside of the middle area. And SK really struggling with this. We only have two men remaining. Forrest actually uh, way back, almost uh, still in that T-spawn. He is going to start to move down. Miller's get right will take down Gigatus. And it doesn't I really matter. They got the bomb and yeah. have good control of this round. And with 30, 25 seconds left, cannot see Winfact giving this away. But you never know. Forrest get right are amazing players. Here's get right once again, just firing off some shots. Forrest is going to take down Nasu. Finally, uh, get right will be dealt with by Lurpis, but let's stick with uh, Forrest, see what he can do. He's only got 12 seconds to go. Oops. Worst, worst thing that will happen now is that the time runs out and they kill him afterwards. He will stuck at zero, zero oh. cash. Actually, uh, managing to get the kill there onto Lurpis. Gonna kill him now. Doesn't really matter. Oh. Actually, a terrible execution from SK. I'm not sure what the yeah. goal was, but the goal was probably to get the key on the space because they didn't have a oh, well worked out goals. plan. Not a pause. Maybe it's those keyboards. Yeah, never, never good when your keyboard turns itself off every few minutes. Apparently, the uh, problem is with get right. Kind of see it there uh, by yeah. his face. He had right. some problem the first half as well, I believe. Yeah. I, I think, think it's a right. sound issue. Looking by, uh, you know, <laughs> I was looking at his sound control, and his face is like. What is this? Microphone. Maybe uh, not working right, which obviously is uh, a super important part of the game for him. Those kind of things is actually something that can can make Getrike perform worse than he would, because Getrike is a player that he likes the momentum. He likes to be yeah. confident. He likes to get the early frags, so he's feeling a bit, you know, pumped from that, but we get those kind of disturbing moments, you can get a, kind of caught away from the situation and just a bit upset, I'd say, a bit moody about it. Yeah. But let's hope he's not um, suffering from this, this anymore, playing in SK, but I, I remember in Fnatic he can be pissed off for a longer time when he have a problem with the computer. 
I wonder how uh, UM Mexico actually face is going to stand up here and help get right out. He maybe got his PC license now, so he can help out. There's a bit of an optical illusion there at the back as well. That's Delpan screen that it looks like the UMX guy is staring at from like <laughs> yeah. two centimeters. Playing <laughs> <laughs> like him. Let's have a look at if I can find the score for that third place game because they are obviously live. MTW versus UMX fighting for the bronze medal. And. I see no score update just yet. Anyway, looks like we may. I might be, be wrong, uh, but I would be very this. surprised if UMX has a chance against MTW, even if they're playing with a substitute. But yeah, never know. Well, apparently, get rights issues are finished. The uh, pot game is going to be unpaused, and we are going to jump here into the second round. Of course, the pistol round did go over to Winfax, so the score is 10 6. Still in favor of SK. Or, uh, rushing up to this middle area, actually. If Forrest wasn't, um, I mean, if Forrest wouldn't have like saved out and be stuck at zero zero dollars, SK would for sure have bought Deegans now. But instead, they're just just dealing with dealing with this with this the way they should, just going for blocks. So it's going to be interesting now to see if they buy AKs. So they're going to have the, the cheap armor, and in Forrest's case, he's going to be stuck on Deegan, I'd say, in case it doesn't drop to him. Well, the uh, eagle was bought. AK is down on the ground. And Forrest is going to have himself an AK. So uh, SK looking to turn things around here in round number three. I was like having the AWP. Yeah, he has. Yeah, he's we going towards B as well. I think he's going to get the early kill now. Let's watch him. Yeah, he's watching over towards the uh, B balcony area. if anyone uh, actually comes his way. There are actually two from SK kind of weighing over uh, for the peak in this point. I want to stick with Aslak because uh, as soon as SK peak, we are going to see that shot coming off from him. I was saying earlier that SK is really good with those A splits when they just uh, use the connection, they use the side also and they use the, the small pit towards A. That works with AKs. I don't think it really works with Galil's. Um, but you never know. Robin dropped a AK to Forest, uh, and he might make magic with that. However, Robin is stuck at 17 HP. Was that a leg shot from Aslak, probably? Yeah, I guess so, from uh, over by that B side. And it looks like SK have decided to change their mind and push in onto this A bomb side. Let's see if we can get a defender here. Nasu actually underneath the balcony area as Basic will get frag number one onto this push. There's the second and the third from Bra uh, Basic. Great start, but there's two from Get Right. There's the third from Get Right. Forrest did get one in between. And that's just how fast these rounds can turn around when you've got talents like Get Right and Forrest in your lineup. Bomb is surely going to get planted. As like is the last man left alive. Just save this AWP. Yes. His teammates will definitely have um, enough money to buy Farmers or Colt next round. So it would be like a normal weapon round for them if, in case he can save this out. However, they probably hate themselves for losing that round, getting the third free entry kills. Yeah. Or at least basic hates the rest of his team <laughs> after yeah. getting the first three kills. I was like, actually, uh, in the B side at the moment, behind the box, trying to hold on to this AWP. We do have Forrest in uh, close proximity to him. And uh, Forrest is going to peek oh, around and get the kill. Yeah, they will obviously take that AWP. And there's the double low five from Get Right to, uh, to face Ann Robin. So uh, SK picking up their first round of the second half, which leaves us with a 10, uh, sorry, 11 7 scoreline. SK just five rounds away from picking up this map number one, the uh, Win Fact map choice. Yeah. Winfact is committed to buy now and they really need this round. Yeah. Otherwise SK will have money throughout the game and they will oh, they will only need three or four more rounds to win the first map. Frag number one though is gonna come off for Aslak and it's so important to get Aslak out of the game. SK know how important he is to this uh Winfact lineup actually locking off the B balcony all alone. As he counter flashes back in to stop that push coming around, but I think SK may just change their mind and head over once again towards this A site.
course, the uh, last round win fact did a great job of killing those initial entries. Until Get Right came out. Yeah, <laughs> until, until Get Right turned it all around. Jigatus only has a deagle. Lopez with the front ass, as like, of course, AWP basic M4. And Nasu with the front ass as well. And he's going to take down Robin inside of this middle area. And are we going to see the push from this one? Delpan looking for the shot onto Aslak. And this is a, uh, a massive uh, AWP battle as uh, he actually just grenaded himself off the back of his teammate, which was like completely the opposite thing that he needed to do. Let's get around to uh, Aslak, who only has 3 HP, but you know, 3 HP, 50 HP, 70 HP makes no difference when he's going head to head with Delpan anyway. Ketra is on the other side of the map. He's playing his own game right now. I wonder if SK is going to go for saving those rifles they have now. Seems like it. Yeah, bomb is down as well. That's a massive problem for SK. Truly is. Yeah, and they're saving. Delpan actually, yeah. Uh, Way back in that terrorist spawn, just going to hug himself up against the wall, try and stay alive, which he manages to do. And that will be 11 to 8. So, you know, this game by no means over, as you mentioned. Win factor, super strong uh, CT side. And we saw once Aslak gets in that groove, um, he can be actually unstoppable at times. He's 6 for 1 um, at this stage. Let's see if he can uh, manage to improve on that one actually sk delpan zero three face zero four robin zero four gigatus zero three there's a lot of players uh without any kills on the board at this stage although we are only that four rounds in and sk are forced once again onto uh that deagle eco and let's switch to delpan because he is going to get on the top of his teammate's head, and he will take down Aslak. Like, that's a massive frag kill. for SK, and they're going to rush straight in there. There is a uh, smoke and a flash and a grenade, actually, coming up onto this balcony, so they know there's at least one man around here. Get right, will take down Nasu. Surely this bomb is going to get planted. There was Face uh, actually hanging back. There's Lopez with two. Face will drop Lopez at close range with the AWP, and it leaves just Jigatus, who is currently not having the uh, best CT side of his life. But he's going to try and work his way in. Face from that main entrance is going to be waiting. AWP get right 3 HP up against some wall. And it will be Face to finish off. And Face showing that you know, it's not just solid with that rifle. I don't really he like... picks up the AWP and does uh, a lot of damage with it as well. Yeah, I don't really like Lurp's de decision there to just go super defensive. Because his teammates expect him to die before they would. So the rotation came in and Lurpus was just hiding. So his teammates were backing up, thinking that Lurpus is actually having control of the situation. Because even that you're sitting on the voice tool, you can communicate, you're sitting on land. In the heat of the moment, in those stressful rounds, they were just expecting him to do those things. Instead, he played very passively. He got two kills, but those kills didn't really matter because the bomb spy was overswarmed by, by angry uh, SK players. And um, yeah, they kill off the backup before they kill off the B defenders. I don't really like that decision. Because um, he's actually in a good spot just peeking up there towards the side also B. Instead, he's st uh, starting to play, like, I don't know, wow. very defensively. That was amazing from Delpan. Nasu actually was set up there for the shot in towards those green holes. And Delpan just peeked around and had a faster uh, reaction time than him. And this is going to allow SK to get the bomb down over by that A side. Aslak will be uh, taken out. And it leaves just Jigatus, who you know, he's only got off the mask, but... I guess we'll try and uh, maybe pick something else up or at least keep this from going yeah, that's through the into the next can round. Can't really expect him to retake the A-bomb site and win this round. He's going to leave us once his bomb uh, does finally explode with a 13-8 to scoreline for SK. Real close to uh, winning out this first map. His face, I think he's going to find Gigatus. Uh, actually, two of them found Gigatus, but he got the kills onto both of them. Here we go. Face is uh, starting to move his way in there. Takes his time to move around the corner. Gigatus goes down, and that's a nice uh, you know, finishing kill to the round for SK. Just denying that from us moving through. 13 to 8, SK in the lead. Let's have another uh, quick rundown here of the scoreboard. Get right, 9 for 3. Face, 8 for 4. Four is seven for five. Delpan two for four. Robin zero for five. Yeah, but remember Robin has been dropping one. weapons to uh, yeah. the the more talented players, so to speak, like in Forest. If they'd be dropping him AKs, and I mean, I know Robin doesn't really care about frags, and 
he only care about the team winning or not. Yeah. It's a bit of a sacrifice. He's more than willing to do in order to win this map and the match. I see we have an eco round here, and it's a super aggressive one. Wind Factor pushed all the way through to that T spawn. Got the kill, got themselves an AK. And all of a sudden, it may uh, give them a lifeline in this one. As like just uh, moving himself up there. SK can get into either bomb site now and just get this bomb down. Finally, they do that over by the B bomb site. So they set up those defenses. There's Gigatus onto Delpan. This is not the most amazing uh, round for SK on the anti eco. All credit to Winfact, though. They've done a good job to uh, steal away this AK. Uh, I'm a bit surprised they didn't try to go for it, after all. It felt like two of the Winfact players went for it. Of course, they have the USP, so they can do it. But if the AKs would actually have rotated earlier, they would have a shot of winning this round. Instead, they are kind of giving, not giving the round away, but they're, they're enabling SK to secure the 14th, 14th round, uh, only needing one more to secure the draw score. Um, so yeah, I would definitely take that the gamble in that position, especially getting the early kill. 14 to 8 is the scoreline. Surely SK have done enough here, but we've seen stranger things than the comeback from 14 8. Especially with Winfact on this CT side that earlier on in the tournament and in previous tournaments we've seen them here on uh, Mirage do so greatly on that CT side. Forest just uh, spamming those walls, hoping to take a little bit of HP away. Not something that we uh, really see all that much. I guess the spot's not quite worked out yet for every team. Yeah. Nasu is pushed up fairly heavily towards the uh, underpass area. And still not managing to uh, spot everyone. This is a very, very slow round from SK. And actually, they've rotated back around through this terrorist spawn. And they're going to go for this A push. SKS actually became this very slow team. They coming in from being very aggressive uh, earlier years and also in the beginning of this year they tried out a very aggressive type of game. Uh, but finally they got their pieces together realizing that it's the slow game, it's the defensive and well structured game that benefits them better. Actually, yeah, I'd like to move himself away there. Lopez is going to spray through the smoke. Robin will take him down. Bomb should get planted here any second by Forrest. Maybe, eventually. There we go. Bomb is planted on the A site. We now have a three versus four. Advantage is with the Swedes. We are going to get the flashes over the top there from Winfact. Face will uh, get himself one. Jigata is still alive again. With the uh, double kill, can he make it three? No, he can't. Robin peeks out perfectly timed there from Robin. And it leaves here just as Lack, who goes to that AWP shot. Doesn't work out for him. And that will be map point SK, 15 rounds to eight. Yeah, I can't really see how we if I can get a comeback for out of this. We need so many rounds in order to secure a draw score. And I mean, SK has the money on the sound, the other side and Winfect is probably forced to have Deagles and Famas as now. Somehow they managed to get, get enough money for AWP to ask, like it's some, probably someone dropping it to him. Lopez is going to go aggressive here, so uh, getting that information at least early on for win fact, and that yeah, will... Yeah, it's uh, too late. Yeah, because they've late. all pushed straight into it. They should away. have played that kind of way earlier. SK are all over this A-bomb site as the flashes do go deep down. On towards that ramp area, and they're very concerned about someone pushing up there. As like, for example, who could do so much damage with that AWP in the right place at the right time. There's Robin and Face getting the kills. It's down to just two men left alive for Winfact. As uh, As like goes down, he did take down Face in the process of things. There's Lurpis goes down to Forest. It's now Lurpis who, uh, sorry, it was Gigatus who went down. It's now one v one. Robin versus Lurpis. That bomb is ticking so so quickly, and Robin is going to peek and gets the kill, and that will be the end of the first map here 16 rounds to eight a very solid and convincing performance by sk uh, you know despite winning pistol losing the second round uh, they won nine rounds in a row or something ridiculous in that first half uh, really showing how uh, good they are in this tournament and now uh, they go one to zero up so you now 
after this WinFact map, we're going to be moving on to Dust2, uh, which I guess we're going to talk about here in just a little bit because the teams are going to have that little bit of time. Uh, don't forget, guys, you guys at home at least, or maybe if you've got internets here at Comic-Con, uh, you can vote for the MVP of the tournament, which, of course, is Nixon. Um, <laughs> maybe. Uh, actually, the, the vote only uh, counts for a certain amount this time, so we're going to have an expert panel who will uh, vote as well on who uh, will be MVP. I guess you're going to be uh, called in to judge that one as well, Con. Just saying, it is. since Nixon you're not is. in the tournament, uh, you, can, you can say uh, a little bit of that one. Uh, as well as this bright yellow hoodie, they will also be winning a goodie package from Razer, uh, which includes, I believe, uh, mouse, headset, um, and keyboard. Uh, they'll also win on one of these amazing BenQ 120 hertz monitors that they're playing on the the tournament plus an Intel i7 core extreme edition processor plus um, what else there's so much stuff that they win for uh, being MVP it's absolutely ridiculous and a nice little uh, bonus on their paycheck yeah. or just a bonus if you're uh, Nixon because obviously he doesn't really get yeah, a he's paycheck not in the finals. anyway uh, so yeah I guess we're going to go to uh, a quick break here because the two teams are having their uh, chat so once we come back from this commercial break we will get started with map number two here in the grand final of the Intel Extreme Masters Global Challenge in uh, New York City for Counter-Strike 1.6 we'll see you soon Oh, Taz, and he goes jumping in. Amazing round. Great hatching from Taz. He flashes in a cast field, but then a 20 health left. Oh, no, single flash. Oh, the oh, shield so clutch. Oh, a blink into all those units. An amazing defense. Champion of the Intel Extreme. 